Yo, yo, yo. What's good, everybody? What's good? It's your boy JTL, aka Op for the No 18, back, back with another one. So, this video I just seen today with Anton Daniels got a panel. People saying some crazy stuff, even some people that have been there. I don't know what the hell they're talking about. So, this video going to be a little lengthy, pause, but with good reason. So, make sure y'all like, share, comment, and definitely make sure you subscribe. Let's get it. Single motherhood by choice is going to be an option that more and more black women consider and even exercise. Black women that have the privilege to embark upon this expensive and oftentimes lengthy process will increasingly decide to forego marriages and partnerships that do not serve us and that are not in our best interests. All right, so y'all already know Ebony K. Williams is not that bright. She wanted the modern women who think she got it going on talking all this trash now she mad at men and it's crazy she's taking out a black man but she dates all sides of the rainbow she said it herself she's done them all when she was talking to ayala van zant she messed up a couple good relationships and a marriage so you can't take what she's saying but with grain of salt but let's get it so she's promoting getting donors you know and here's i'm gonna show you another real clip that explains and now that bypassing those insufficient relationships does not have to come at the expense of motherhood, well, frankly, it's a whole new world. A world in which black women are no longer subject to the desperation of being chose because now we get to do the choosing. And a lot of our sisters, keeping it real, sorry if it hurts your feelings, but I'm not sorry. A lot of black women been doing that. A lot of black women have been able to get assistance, help from the family and all of that, and made none of the best choices doing all this single motherhood out of wedlock, meaning that even if they was in a relationship, that didn't mean you need to get pregnant. You're supposed to build up to get a relationship. So black women been doing that. And she's one of those black women that are divestors that date outside of race mostly. And now I want to go ahead and get donations to have children and promoting single motherhood which is what q was talking about but she's a fan bot now let's go ahead and get into the actual show I'm, I'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna agree with logic on this this is some youtube bullshit internet shit and women ain't out here doing none of that nonsense no no she she's right look i'm not saying she's right. and quentin 22 is very young i don't think he's even 30 yet. he's like mid 20s he's somebody women ain't doing that yes they are if you look at the rate of single motherhood is astoundingly crazy in the west especially america so here young dude don't know what the hell he's talking about not saying that's all young dudes but he wanted them real gullible ones right in her concept but isn't this what women doing now i mean keep it a bean you know what i'm saying women don't look you niggas want to go 50 50 and these bitches got an equal voice so now, with that equal voice, because you want to go 50-50, they have rights. Chiming in. Men got smart and said, well, since y'all wanted equality, but y'all still want to be able to get traditional outcomes while still being able to go modern and be selfish and entitled, leave me, divorce me, and take half of everything I got, if not more than that, where I can barely survive and I'm struggling now, and take my kids and mess up my provision rights, my actual par parental advice, uh, rights. You need to bring more to the table is what most guys are saying. Women fought to change the environment to be equal. So men are like, bring something to the table versus me jumping out of an airplane with seven for 70 percent chance of the parachute not opening up so logic saying that he's right on man saying 150 50 but he's leaving out the fact that men are saying that because the way women are they have rights to throw your playstation out they have rights to put their hand in your plate they what? have rights to do everything because you surrender them rights this is what i don't get the because they just sorry wanted to get over and be a son husband no it's because women when i did what they did and now they up here raising kids especially young men in fatherless homes so it was a cause and effect right men say they want traditional women but don't want to be traditional men <clears throat> so they because women don't want traditional men they want modern weak men to let them do what they want 
they won't they they just like the women they complain about hmm. they want everything because those are the women that raised us that's why i agree you you want her and i said this plenty of time you know what i'm saying i'm a, i'm a, for you new niggas i'm gonna say it again are you interested in starting your own faceless youtube automation channel please excuse me y'all know i ain't paying for it <laughs> These men want the women to get up early, cook the breakfast, get the kids ready for school, go work a nine to five, go to football practice, go to basketball practice, go to gym practice, come back, do the kids homework, cook dinner, and suck and fuck at night. That's because the women want you to be involved in the PTA meetings. Women want to have say so in the house. Women want to be able to work. Women want you to help with the kids. Women want you to help with cleaning and cooking. Especially for young black men, we was raised to help with our siblings and help our single mothers. So they still want us to do a lot of traditional things while doing modern things, bending over, biting a rag for them. So men are like, okay, well, at least make it worth it. You damn right we do. So when you look at it, these relationships ain't 50-50. These hoes actually got the advantage. They bring more to the household than you niggas do. Bullshit, because men are expected to do women's work. Just because a woman go to work doesn't mean she don't still expect the man to take out the garbage. She don't still expect the man to protect. If she messes up on some money, she don't still expect the man to take up for her and throw money in when she fuck up. It's not like women don't expect for men to not be emotional therapists and all of that. Change the tire to go out there. And they do something stupid, be willing to throw his life on the line. So in actuality, men are doing more than women because women are not cooking and cleaning and taking care of the kids like they used to. If you look at the numbers, they are not. Look at the stats. They're not. So now, why would you think that eventually <laughs> these women would not get to a point that they want to eliminate you from the period, from, from, from the whole subject? The whole things that everybody talking about the baby mama culture, that's old. These new chicks ain't having no babies. That's old 80s and 90s and 2000s shit. All these new hoes is saying, I don't want no kids. I meet them every day on the military base. Back when I was in the military, all these chicks were getting pregnant. Now they saying they don't want no kids. They dying. They doing the the the, the brat thing. They getting the the, the sperm um, inject thing. They can pick the blue eyes, the blonde hair. They can pick the little, little light skinned niggas. They can pick a seven foot. They can do whatever. He's right to a certain extent. A lot of women are saying they don't want kids. That's why you see a lot of women or the stats saying by 20, 40, 50, something like that. Half a woman ain't gonna have kids, even though it's like that for men. So I guess it's gonna be even more men. But at the same time, a lot of women that are starting and choosing to deal with other women already got kids. So they're going out there being single. Then we look at the numbers. Lesbian couples end up getting divorced the most and have the most DA, DV situations out of everybody. So they're still making bad decisions. But I can't blame them because every man out here is saying they want a 50-50 relationship. So you know what? You want a 50 50 relationship, but you want them to do their traditional roles and do some of your roles. So they're the leaders. That's because women chose to do that because they want to say, but like Kevin used to say, Gary, so pressure is for shoulders, not hips. So they still want you to put on your cape at the end of the day and put your life away. 